Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Anaton, and welcome to today's video for Legends of Runeterra. Today we're going to be talking about a deck that is very, very new. Uh, more, well, it's more of a new take on an older deck that has been seeing a fairly quick surge in popularity. Uh, and I kind of wanted to do a video on it because I like it. It's a very fun deck. Uh, we're talking about Scythria Matron. Specifically, Lux Kindred Scythria Matron combo. And this deck, for some reason, has been uh, surging in popularity. A lot of people have been playing it. Uh, I really just think it's the it's a case of uh, it's kind of just a fun deck. People haven't played Scythria Matron in a while. And it's actually kind of a decent deck, too, in all honesty. Uh, I don't think it's a tier one deck. Like, it's not really going to be doing much against, say, like, Ari Cannon, um, which is pretty much the deck to beat in the meta. Uh, but I do think it is a very powerful deck, and who knows, in tournaments, maybe it can do good. The old Scythria Matron did okay on ladder, and even better in tournaments, maybe this Scythria Matron will follow a similar path. Anyway, though, uh, enough talking about the deck, let's actually go look at the deck to talk about the deck. Ignore what I just said. Let's go look at the deck. Okay, Scythria Matron, welcome to the deck. So, if you don't know what I'm saying, when I'm saying Scythria Matron over and over, uh, because you weren't around or you just don't remember the old Scythria Matron decks, I'll just give you a quick uh, overview. Overview. It's exactly what it sounds like. You play Scythria, the 10 mana Scythria, Lady of Clouds, and you play Spectral Matron. Spectral Matron brings out Scythria, buffing your entire board, and then you still have the actual Scythria in hand that you can replay later for even more value. And against a lot of decks, the first Spectral Matron bringing out Scythria is usually game winning. Uh, the old list was more of a, um, it actually only played, I think, Shivana as its champ. It played things like Mobilize and Stalking Shadows and went for like a very, very fast Scythria Matron using things like, I don't even remember the name of these cards, like Oblivious Islanders and Mobilize to uh, turbo it out. Mask Mother and Dark Water Scourge to try and stall uh, Shivana Dragon Chow to cycle through and just have a big unit to try and stall as well. Uh, we're kind of doing a similar thing here. We're not trying to turbo out the Matron Scythera as fast as that deck, but we're doing a similar game plan in that we're just trying to stall. But we don't even really need the Matron Scythera combo in a lot of games because... Uh, we might just win thanks to our champions, because our champions are fairly powerful if they don't die, like a lot of champions, of course. Uh, but yeah, so our early game, just going to be like standard, just stall and stuff with like icons, aristocrats, minions. Mid game, try and get a champ online. Whether that is Elise or Kindred, they're fairly similar in that they help us control the board. Uh, you play one of them, they stick. Your opponent doesn't have like a Vengeance or a Thermogenic Beam or whatever. And then they get value. Lux uh, gives you final sparks. Kindred gets a lot of marks, killing things. Uh, if your opponent has removal for that, that's just less removal for your Scythrias and Matrons, etc., etc. We have uh, Radiant Guardians for aggro. Vanguard Sergeant just gives us a big Four Damasius spell to give us a final spark with Lux. And we have a lot of tokens and just small, cheap stuff, so the Four Damasia buffs a lot of things, so it's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, like that's pretty much the the game plan, is play in the mid-game, stall, grind, and then we play Spectral Matron into Scythria, and to another Scythria if we still need more late game. Uh, deck's very, very slow and grindy, but it's very fun. I like this kind of grindy kind of archetype, this play style. Uh, I honestly don't think it's that good in the meta. Uh, and you can definitely tech it too. Like, for example, uh, I chose to just show off a very simple version, standard version that's not tech for any one particular archetype specifically. Uh, but you could take out things like minions, aristocrats, uh, for things like more whales, more guardians, um, taking out a Scythria and a Matron. I've seen some versions that only play two Matrons and two Scythrias. I personally prefer three Matron, three Scythria, so you can almost always have the Matron-Scythria combo by turn eight when you want to play the Matron. Uh, but some play only two of each, so they can play more early game, like 
or more uh, mid-game stuff, like more whales, more boxes, etc., etc. So, you know, they can have a better chance against things like Ari Cannon. Anyway, though, as for the actual cards in the deck, uh, two Aristocrats, just basically here to help slow down the uh, slow down the opponents. Uh, pretty okay card, decent with for Demacia from the Sergeant, and pretty okay to buff with uh, Cythria. Same with Fading Icon, pretty much. Uh, the Prey is also just nice to ping with Vile Feast as well. If you want to try and do that to activate Kindred Marks, that's cute. Um, three Glimpses, great card. We're a Kindred deck as well, so three Glimpses is just really nice. One of Minion, just a fun little card. This guy can get a lot of value. Uh, I like to play one a lot too in my Shadow Isle control decks because this guy can get so much value if you can get him early. Uh, just chomping things over and over, giving you something to do with your mana as a control player is really nice. So I like it as a one of three sharp sights. You're in Demacia. Why not play three sharp sights? I mean, if you're a Demacia deck and you're not playing three sharp sights, you better have a very, very good reason. Three single combats, just a very nice, cheap, efficient piece of removal. Uh, using it on minions cute too, but mostly just here for uh, Radiant Guardian, but other things as well, like uh, Vanguard Sergeant's okay with it as well. Three Vile Feast, you can use it to kill your opponent's stuff or kill your own things. Uh, kill your own things because you want to activate a Kindred Mark. Three Vanguard Sergeants, decent body to help stall, and four Demacia is a good spell. Three Kindreds, three Luxes, I mean, there are champions. There's not really another champion you would play in this deck. Uh, one Box, one Whale for our AoE. This is uh, something you could definitely add more of. Uh, depending on what you're afraid of, you would add either more boxes or more whales. Like, are you more afraid of scouts? Are you more afraid of Ari Cannon? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Uh, and then you would, if you cared about like those matchups, you would just take out a Scythria or a Matron as well for another AOE. Two Radiant Guardians, only two. Very standardized deck list, so we only play two. Uh, you could add a third if you want to really just beat like Burn and Spider Aggro, but while those decks are around, they're not the most popular, so we don't really need three in my opinion. Plus we have our early game units uh, with Icons, Aristocrats, and Vile Feast. I think we have enough early game. We don't really need the third Radiant Guardian. And the Whale helps too, of course. Uh, three Vengeances. Uh, this is one of the reasons why you see so many just Shadow Isle piles nowadays. Six mana Vengeance is so, so good. So we're going to play all three of them. And then three Matron, three Cythria. It's our combo. We'll play three of them. You can definitely cut one of each or even just one Scythria or one Matron if you want. Uh, so you can have more early and mid game, but I like all three copies of each because I just want to hit a Matron Scythria combo on eight. Uh, as for mulligans and how to like play your initial couple of turns, depends on the matchup, of course. Um, just find like early game stuff and stall against slower decks. You don't really need that many early game things. Maybe just like one aristocrat and then you can like maybe even keep the kindreds and luxes against like darkness though. Maybe keep icon as well. Not really aristocrat because of a catalyzer, but yeah, fun deck. Uh, I really, really like it. I think it's very fun. Uh, I can't wait to play some a bit. Uh, I don't think it's that good. Like I said, I've said it numerous times. I don't think it's that good for the ladder, but in tournaments with a ban phase and where you can build your decks around things, uh, I think this can be a very, very powerful deck in a certain lineup. For example, uh, a lineup where we would just always ban Ari Ken. I think this would be fairly okay. Anyway, though, let's go and take it for a spin on the ladder. Oh, hello, scouts. Uh, going to be a tough matchup here. Um, I'm going to keep the sharp side and the aristocrat here. Not sure if keeping sharp sight's correct. In fact, I think I might just throw it away now that I think about it. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a tough matchup. They're also a sharp sight deck, so I think they're probably favored. They go very, very fast. Uh, this is a nice hand, though. Icon is nice. Uh, if we can draw a... That helps, I guess. We're going to pass here. We're not even going to play anything. I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to play this aristocrat. Sure, I'll play the aristocrat. Uh, this will be nice, though, if they play, like, Bright Steel Protector, I guess? Yeah, I'd like a Bright Steel Protector here. That'd be great for me. But yeah, this is going to be a tough matchup. Well, that's not something I was expecting to see. Seems like my opponent's playing a weird version of this deck. Uh, 
We're just gonna chomp this. But yeah, I'm probably gonna lose here. If they play uh, turn three, Misfortune, we can't really beat that. Turn one, Tracker. Turn two, Suppressor. Turn three, Misfortune. Kind of hate it because it's a... um. It's not a common version. Like, not many people play Stony Suppressor now in Scouts. Only reason you do that is you want to tech for, I guess, Ari Cannon. Yeah, we're... We're kind of dead here. This really makes me upset. This would be... This is so weak against... um single combat but i don't have it sadly uh, i can do this to stop the tracker which is nice so i can get a kill on the tracker but all my units just die here to misfortune we might just block into glimpse not sure about that okay we might just win now yeah we might actually just win here because a radiant guardian does win games here never mind <laughs> okay Okay, sure. So they literally just attack with everything here. I'd be surprised if they attack in with Misfortune, though. Okay, I'm surprised they didn't attack in with more. They could have attacked in at least with the Stony Suppressors. So yeah, this is good. At least they haven't played any Scouts, so that's nice. Uh, we do have the combo. If we can get to turn 8, that's nice. But yeah, Radiant Guardian. We'll play Lux here, I think, and then Radiant Guardian might save us. Um... Yeah, we're going to just play Lux here for now. Mirai Warden is whatever. Could even attack in with Lux. Don't really want to here. But thank God they haven't played any scouts. Like, I'm so lucky they haven't played any scouts. And I'm so lucky that I'm not drawing too many spells. Uh, here, I think I'll just jump. Chump that and take the rest of the damage. Because I'm going to have a... Um, I need a chump here so I can have something die for my guardian. And I think I should win. And actually, it's kind of cute here. Um, these Sony Suppressors actually help Lux a lot. So we might actually win just because we have Radiant Guardian. And in fact, next turn, we play Scythria Matron. Uh, let's see what they do here. They're probably going to like chump with the 1-2 maybe. I don't know how they're going to kill Radiant Guardian. Scouts actually just folds to Radiant Guardian a lot of the time. Uh, but yeah, like... I'm going to vengeance that. That's really scary. Because I feel like what they would do here if I don't vengeance this is they will rally right now. They might still rally, in fact. If they rally, though... Oh, I can't... I forgot. I can't do it because of Stony Suppressor. Oh, that's awful. Whatever. We'll play uh, Matron Scythria here. They'll probably like scout attack, kill Lux, and then we will Matron Scythria. Yeah. Kill Lux. That's fine. And sure, Misfortune's going to level, but this is too much for them to beat, I think. Good luck, opponent. GG. <laughs> Easy game. Back to the skies, Knights of Demacia. Scar grounds. Hello. I don't see you too often. Uh this hand kind of sucks. We're just gonna mulligan everything away here. I if I had like a aristocrat or something, I wouldn't keep this matron because this matchup is going to be um a very interesting one. Like they can't beat our combo. Okay, this hand's fine. Um, but yeah, they can't beat our combo. Okay, sure. Scar Grounds is so weird. I have no idea what I'm playing around. Like, Omen Hawk's not that common, but if they hit a uh, Braum with that, that's actually scary. 1 7 Braum early. Uh, but I have Vengeance here. Vengeance for Braum. Vengeance for Vlad's gonna be nice. Uh, our hand's not the worst. Curator. That's kind of annoying. A Demacian soldier is worth 10 foes. But yeah, we're just going to take this, sadly. I can't do much here. That was a really nice buff. Just a three-mana 4-4. Four, four. It's like the old Badger Bears. Uh, but yeah, like, we're fine. We're fine. We'll just play... We'll just have double Vanguard Sergeant here. We'll probably chump the Curator. Like, yeah, we'll chump the Curator. That's fine. Yeah, we'll chump the big Curator, the 4-4 four, four Curator. Probably trade with this Curator. And then we'll play Radiant Guardian. Aristocrat's not bad. That changes things. 
That changes a lot of things. We got to do this now. I can't wait for them to attack because um, having Vladimir on board gives them more transfusions. I'm, fr I'm afraid of transfusion here. Like, really, really afraid. So we're just going to do this. They obviously have transfusion. Kind of wish they were playing around uh, Troll Chan because... Or, Sharp side here, because sharp side would really screw this uh, transfusion. Oh no, it's just troll chan. Okay, that's fine. That's actually really, really fine. Um, yeah, sure, no problem. So I gotta think about this turn. Like you have to think about your turns with this deck, your upcoming turns a lot. So I have what six mana next turn. I'll have two spell mana. Um, I'm gonna pass for now. Just gonna pass again. I have the name. I need the reputation. Depending on what they do here. I kinda wanna box that in all honesty. And I think I will. Yeah, I'm gonna box this. If this forces them to use a um a combat trick, great. If it doesn't and it just dies, even better. Everyone they had another one. That's fine, that's fine. So if they don't open attack, we have a defensive for Demacia. I really, really need a matron, though. If they don't open attack, I can even just play Icon. So we'll just use the Aristocrat to chump here, and these two guys will just trade for these. Um, I could go for value here, actually, and just block the 1-1. One, one. I protect my own. Yeah, let's go for value. This is a little greedy, but I think I have to go for a little bit of greed. And now we'll just play like Radiant Guardian Fading Icon. Probably shouldn't even play the Icon. Probably should have played Radiant first. What are you playing? Your list is so weird, opponent. Uh, Omen Hawks, whatever. All right, so we're fine. If I draw Matron here, it's actually not that great because I don't have enough room on the board. So it's plus three, plus three. So you'll be six fours? Sure. I'll use one of these because I don't really have anything else to do. So I can gain a lot of life this way. It also kind of heals. That's... That's worth a single combat. Yeah, that's worth single. Hopefully they don't play freezes, like three sisters or anything. Oh, that is so good for me. I think I win again. Like, this game, I think I win again because of this Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian is just so good in some decks. And some people think this card needs a buff. This card is fine as a 4-5. Sure, it'd be nice as a... As a, uh, what? A 5-5, five, five, but fine. Like, we just gained 14 life this turn. We're back to full health. We were at 6 health. We're at 4... Or we're back to 20. We just completely turned this game around. Uh, I could single combat that, but I'm going to single combat that because it's going to kill, it's going to clear a lot of my board. It clears uh, my icon, my prey, and my spider, so I should clear this. And I do want to keep this board. Like, sure, the icon and the spider and the prey aren't that great, but I have a Scythria and I have a Four Demacia, so I want to keep them around. Okay, another icon's nice. A little too late for that opponent, sadly. I'm just going to pass. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. I was considering using Four Demacia defensively, but meh. Ooh. We're just going to play Scythria, and they'll concede. With in our hearts, we so we win, right? I've got a 10-10 with Challenger, so let's just not mess this up. So we'll pull you there, you here. Um, the 3-3 three, three can go there, and you can go there, and you'll go here. I think that's how I like this attack. Yeah, this seems like a good one. Sadly, I didn't have Scythria, or I'd, I had Scythria. I didn't have Matron here, which is kind of bad, but whatever. Okay, that's fine. Could sharp sight this to trade, but it doesn't really matter, I think. 
I think I've got this one. Like this per this buff is permanent too. Like these are this is a grant, not a only for this turn. So these units still are uh, pretty big. This is getting annoying though. Oh yeah, like these guys are still gonna be fairly big with challengers. They're gonna try and keep playing. I don't know. Like maybe if they get a basilisk. Oh, we have another Scythria. I'm just gonna play the icon. And GG, didn't even need the second Scythria. Fine work, Demacians. Fine work. Malphite Talia. Interesting. Uh, they don't really have much removal unless they play like Sunburst or I guess like invokes into comets and supernova. I'm gonna mulligan everything. And I'm not sure if I wanna keep Lux. I just wanna find early game here. Like things to deal with chip. Kindred's good. Kindred is nice because at least we have a little early game with the Vinyl Feast, but yeah, Kindred's gonna be nice here. Uh, but yeah, I don't wanna take too much damage. It's just a beat down deck, uh, a mid range beat down deck. And then they win with Absolver on Talia or Malphite. Kind of a scary deck, but we got we're a scary deck, too. We can Matron Scythria. We're fine. But yeah, first game with uh, Kindred here. Let's see how well they do. Uh, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Double Vile Feast. The Vanguard Sergeant. They're playing blue buff in their deck. Interesting. I assume they just open attack here. Like, Vanguard Sergeant's so common in these decks. That and then... I could double Vile Feast just to pop this, but I'm just, I'm just going to play Vanguard Sergeant. Kind of makes their attack awkward. Like, they just missed out on damage now because they didn't... They burst past for some reason they wanted to burst pass. Yeah, they, them that burst passing there is actually really, really good for me. Now, this is a little awkward. I don't like it, but I think I have to do this just so... I can't have Kindred or Lux be vulnerable. That's just too much. Too bad for me. Nice. And we can pass here, too. They don't have Salt Spire to set up a Talia turn or even a Preservarium. That is so big. If they have, like, a Rock Hopper, we can Vile Feast. I really just want to summon one of my champs this turn. Uh, I have Aristocrat, too, actually, in case they have more. Okay. Feels like they're setting up a Talia here. Uh, I'm just going to start with the Aristocrat to pop one of these. Go from there. All right, and they're attacking. Cool. I like it. I'm probably going to send in Kindred here. Not the biggest fan here, but if I can, like, ping the Clockling. Marking blue buff. That's a really nice turn for me. Now, will I do that? Maybe. Okay, I'll do it now. Well, I could... I could also single combat instead. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to play around like Pale Cascade or anything. I think this is such good tempo if this succeeds, which is why I want to do it. Nice. This is huge. Like, sure, I'm ramping them a bit, but... They're only gonna have what seven mana and no cards on the field. Sure, Malphite comes down, but so what? So yeah, we're just gonna open attack. Nice ten damage there. That's annoying. That's real annoying. We're gonna save her. Yeah, we'll save them. And we push in more damage with that too. In fact. So we might actually just win this game now. If they have double fist, sure. That's great for us because while it's a two for two, Kindred and Sharpsight for two ground slams, that's insane. They used eight mana to deal with our two mana spell. And I just play Lux here. Do I? Yeah, we'll just play Lux here. Now we threaten a four Dema like a defensive for Demacia. We'll level up Lux that way. This is insanely good for us. And we still have like Matron Scythria. 
Well, we don't have the Sith Reel, but we have it coming up, I hope. Okay, Radiant's not bad. So depending on what they do here, like... Malphite? Eh. Eh. That's fine. This feels like they'll set up the Talia here. If they pass here, that's great for me. Kind of wish they would at least attack in and kill a spider, though. If they play Talia, hmm. A little worried if they just play Talia, though. Okay, so they can't play a champion. Um. I think I'll just play the sergeant here. Earth Elemental. Annoying. So yeah, they get some nice uh, trades here, but it's whatever. Yep, those two, and then the Elemental kills the Sergeant. So that's annoying. Uh, playing this Vanguard Sergeant hurts a bit. I could save a Spider. But no, we're just going to pass here. Going to just pass and play for Demacia, I think, is the play. Really, really need this uh, Scythria, though. Well, okay, there you go. <laughs> I think I win. You know, I was asking for them to, like, l kill some of my units. And they did it. So we're fine, right? Heralds, whatever. All right, so let's just go for this. Don't mess it up too much. Uh, Scythria is going to die, so we'll pull in that with Scythria and this, that there, and this here. Keep our Lux with as high of high health as possible. Sure, yeah, this seems fine. Little bit worried. How big is Malphite when he levels up? He's a 7 and we can single him. Blue Sentinels, no problem. So yeah, if they play Malphite, we can four Demacia into single combat on him. Which should play around another Matron. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Here I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're ready for this Malphite turn. We're gonna be ready so much. But yeah, we'll just play another Matron into Scythria. Uh, kind of feel bad for my opponent. We'll just pass here. It's not much I need to do here. But yeah, like, look at this. This is three games now where Matrons and Scythrias are just destroying our opponents. Yep, there he is. Very cute. You're a very cute mountain, Malphite. Uh, we're bigger, though. <laughs> we're we're just a little bit bigger, if you will. I'm just a slight bit bigger. They can stun me. I mean, like, that's cute, I guess, if they want to, but we've got single combats. Doesn't really do much. Like, that's annoying, but we've got a 24-16 unit. And we can just play Scythria. Like, that's the funny thing, is we just play Scythria next. Yeah. Nothing stops us. They have zero mana even, so we win the game. I could have just taken that too, just to flex on them. But I want to remove the Malphite. Back to the skies, Knights of Demacia. Okay, welcome back to the deck. That was, um... Those were some really impressive games, in my opinion. Um, didn't feel like I was struggling too much there. It felt like I was in really, really good control. Uh, we didn't run into Ari Cannon, which is nice, because that deck would have de demolished me. Uh, but we ran into, what, Scouts? Scouts is a very serious deck. Scargrounds, felt like that guy was just a guy playing for fun. And Malphite Talia, which is also kind of off-meta, but... There are some people out there I know who actually think it's a serious deck, and it is a serious deck in tournaments. That's the problem. We were on ladder. Uh, but yeah, very, very powerful deck. Uh, I also feel like it, those games showed exactly why I like three Matrons and three Scythrias. Just drawing the Matrons and drawing the Scythrias really, really early by turn eight and getting an on-curve Matron-Scythria combo is just game-winning against so many decks. Um, 
against the uh, scout deck, though, our Radiant Guardian just won us the game. Uh, but yeah, like, this deck is nuts. I think this deck is crazy good, as long as you can dodge Ari Cannon. See, there's the problem. Just dodge Ari Cannon, and this deck is great. Now, the problem is, Ari Cannon is the most popular deck. If you include all the variants of Ari Cannon and lump them together, of course. Uh, but yeah, if you think you, if you run into a lot of Ari Cannon, though, of course, like I said at the beginning of the video, just tech some for that matchup, like take out some Scythrias and Matrons for more whales and boxes. Uh, maybe take out a minion, like, for example, take out a minion for a second box or a second whale. That right away will probably increase your win rate against Ari Kennen and lower your win rate against other decks like more mid-range oriented decks, but it increases your win rate against Ari Kennen, which is all some people want to do. Uh, but yeah, like very, very fun games. Uh, three games, three wins. Insane. Every single game we got to play Scythria 2. Just lovely, lovely time. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video as well. I hope you enjoyed the games. I'd love to hear your opinion on this deck. I do think this deck might actually be coming back too, especially in tournaments where you can actually get a ban phase and tailor a lineup to counter certain things. Uh, but I'd love to hear your opinion on it. And I'd love it if you if you guys just enjoyed the video to leave a like or a comment down below anyway. Always helps me out and all that stuff. Also, if you want to keep up with the Legends of Runeterra content, you can always go and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to watch me play some Legends of Runeterra, you can go and check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash where I stream pretty much every single day. Anyway, though, with that all said and done, thank you all once more for watching this video. And until I see you guys in the next one, bye!